Today we are checking out two more episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation Season 2. All right, we got a Q episode. I'm really excited. Hot chocolate, please. <laughs> We uh, we don't ordinarily say please to food dispensers around here. I always say please to machines. So why not combat that tendency with a little simple courtesy? I like it. Ah, thank you. Someone who just arrived. Yeah, she's new. Rain is six, do phase work with antimatter. <laughs> so you can't get no specialty. I know. That's why you got this assignment. I did it again. It's just that... I know. You're excited. excited. I'm the same. Blah, blah, blah. Lieutenant LaForge, this is not going to happen again. <gasps> Oh, no! Oh! On the captain! Actually, oh, it's, it's my fault, sir. Indeed. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> so It's all so over you. <laughs> yes, Ensign, it's all over me. At least let me serve. <laughs> well, Ensign Sonia Gomez, I think it will be simpler. I simply change my uniform. Oh, my God. Don't cry over spilled hot chocolate. I just want to say, sir, that I'm very excited about this assignment, and I promise to serve you and my ship, your ship. Oh, God. Worst first impression ever. To the best of my ability. Jordy. I'm sure that you will. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> it's a meeting the captain won't soon forget. Yeah, that's a lasting impression. Oh. Sonia, better pull it together. Oh, cool shot. Traveling Take with nine, him? Officers court. Now we know Q's just gonna pop in here and cause mischief. Crewman. What is going Welcome, on? Welcome, Picard. The shuttlecraft sinks. Yes! Q. <laughs> you son of a bee. A little cleaning service I'm only too happy to provide. He is so powerful. Never trouble my ship again. I always keep my arrangements, sir. Hates him. We're nowhere near your vessel. Where's he taking him? See, Q is like all powerful. I'm sure he could just kill them all if he wanted. He just likes to cause mischief. <laughs> to seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Let's do it. Now, I wouldn't have requested you if you weren't the best. Where are we going? Ten forward. We're gonna forget about work. We- Taking her to ten forward. You're awfully young to be so driven. I had to be. I had to be the best because only the best get to be here. Jordy, Lieutenant. Are they gonna form a personal bond here? Sonia, relax. You're here. Yeah, you, you made, made it, girl. It, but you won't last long banging into walls. He is correct. Slow down. Enjoy it. Go to the holiday. <gasps> Yay! You better not mess with her. I would like to see her and Q together, actually. Can she sense things? I need to know more about her. Guinan, I don't remember you ever calling the bridge before. Something fishy's going on. It's just a feeling. Had it a couple of times before. It's probably nothing. Forget that I called. Ten forward out. No, trust your gut. She's right on the money. Q has got the card. What do you want this time, sir? The locator beam won't help. They'll never think to look for you this far away. Correct. Enterprise, this is Picard. Look at him just watching him like, <laughs> idiot. Can I get you something? We're fine. Is everything all right? Mm-mm. I don't know. I uh, think I'll go check out engineering. I'll go with you. Yeah, can she sense anything? She must be able to, right? There's a shuttle missing from bay two. All stop. Answering all stop, sir. That would be so alarming. The captain has disembarked, didn't tell anyone. Decades. Just bouncing I'm a ball. Ageless, Picard. You are not. Ask him what he wants. The Enterprise will continue with Riker as captain. You are an impossibly stubborn human. Return me to my ship. He's not that stubborn, just with Q. Will you agree to give my request a full hearing? Agreed. You're right, Picard. This is the proper venue for our discussion. Are they back on the ship? But is it the real 10 forward? Maybe it is. My status board indicates the shuttle is back in bay two. Computer, locate Captain Picard in 10 forward. Okay, good. Well, at least he's on the ship. It's the real guy in. Riker probably thinks he just went off for like a quickie. Mysterious. I knew it was you. She knows him. You! Picard, if you had half the sense you pretend to have, you would get her off your ship immediately. They know each other! You know him. Is she powerful as he is? Those Ealings were two centuries ago. This creature is not what she appears to be. She's an imp. An imp? You're speaking of yourself, Q, not Guinan. Guinan? Agreed. Is that your name now? Guinan is not the issue here. You are. He always backs his crew. She's diverting us from the purpose of my being. Which is? What can she do? She's more powerful than we know, than I know. And microbrain. Micro Growl <laughs> for me. Let me know you still care. Wolf. <laughs> My purpose is to join you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Huh. Not all the cure are alike. Some are almost respectable. Ready and willing, able to serve. Yeah, right. Can you imagine he just joins them? What? Will you start as an ordinary crewman? What? task is too menial for an entity. Sir, do you muck? Not at all. That's the last thing I would do. I think he is mucking him a little. More and more I realize that here, here is where I want to be. I think don't buy advantages. it. I neither expect nor require any special treatment. I will renounce my powers and become as weak and as incompetent as all of you. Uh, <laughs> and your ego? Simply speaking, we don't trust you. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the real issue. Well, you may not trust me, but you do need me. You're not prepared for what awaits you. Which is what? They don't have a clue as to what's out here. They will she learn. does. Adapt. That is their greatest advantage. What is with her? Is she cute also? You judge yourselves against the pitiful adversaries you've encountered so far. The Romulans, the Klingon. They're nothing compared to what's waiting. Picard. I want to see the big baddies. What justifies that smugness? Not smugness, not arrogance. We're resolute, we're determined. Resolute, yep. And your help is not required. Nor do we like you. We'll just have to see how ready you are. Uh-oh, now he's gonna... <laughs> Travel time to the nearest starbase. At maximum warp, two years, seven months, three days, 18 hours, we would reach starbase 185. Two years. Con permiso, Capitan. The hall is rented, the orchestra engaged. It's now time to see if you can dance. He did kind of tempt him there. No, we're ready for anything. I mean, if there is more. Your people have been in this part of the galaxy. For freak's sakes. Yes. Well, yeah, tell them what you know. What can you tell us? Only that if I were you, I'd start back now. Does she have her own prime directive that she can't tell them anything? There is a series of roads on this planet, but where there should be cities, there are only great rips in the surface. Rips. Ray's force just scooped all the machine elements off the face of the planet. It is identical to what happened to the outposts along the neutral zone. Oh, yeah. <gasps> on screen. Magnify. So many hits. Oh, it's a cube. Keep the shields down. Hail it. There is no engineering section. I can identify no living quarters. Are there people aboard? Activate your view screen. I would like you to monitor what's going on up here. We may need your input. Yeah, they should get her on the bridge. I feel like she knows way more than she's telling them, but maybe she's not allowed. My people encountered them a century ago. They destroyed our cities, scattered my people throughout the galaxy. Hmm. They're called the Borg. The Borg? I've heard of the Borg. Oh, dun dun dun. That low piano. <gasps> Creepy, what is this? Someone just beamed on. Security, report to main engineering. We have an intruder. An intruder? Ugh, this is freaking me out. Is this the Borg? It seemed to make a visual survey of the engine core, sir. Then it moved in here. Is it aware of them? We mean you no harm. Do you understand me? Not even responding. Understand you? You're nothing to him. I wouldn't let him. Oh my god. I cannot Phase allow him. you to interfere with the operation of this ship. Phase him! Mr. Stun Walker. him! Oh, oh frick. Ah. Super strength. <gasps> Doesn't work! Mr. Wolf, use whatever means to neutralize the invader. Okay, 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 there you go. Just a little robot hand. An enhanced humanoid. Did they like learn and immediately put up shields? Thought he was gonna rip out his heart. Okay, well, they are pretty scary. Much more advanced, clearly. Guinan, if they were that aggressive, why didn't the Borg attack? They could have, but they didn't. Just now he means? That's not their side to come. They're gonna come in force. They don't do anything piecemeal. Then the initial encounter was solely for the purpose of gathering information. Yeah, Q said it was a scout. Captain, we are being hailed. This is Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the U.S. We have analyzed your defensive capabilities as being unable to defend us. If you defend yourselves, you will be punished. If you defend yourselves, you will be punished. Picard, are you sure you don't want me as a member of your crew? Captain, the Borg have locked onto us Such a some form of tractor beam. We're on our way. Oh, crap. Pulling them in. This is wild! Okay, the exact source of that track to be. Block on phases. Phases locked on target. Fire! Fire! No damage. Just taking a core sample. Terminate that beam. What is music? Fire when ready. Oh, 
okay, they did do some damage. The Borg are not gonna like this. Tractor beam is released, sir. Warp. Our force field is maintaining our hull integrity. Warp out of there. Damage report. Coming in, sir. Sections 27, 28, 29 on decks 4, 5, and 6 destroyed. Whoa. They have sustained damage to 20% of their vessel. Wow. Life support's minimal. They need to get out of there. He's pissed. I mean, I wouldn't be sitting there. Dead just like that. I know. Put it out of your head. No, I can't. I keep seeing them. Sonia, stop it. We'll have time to grieve later. Now, right now, let's just get these shields. It is a heck of a first day. They're unlike any threat your Federation has ever faced. They're not interested in political conquest, wealth, or power as you know it. What are they interested in? It's technology. They've identified it as something they can consume. 18 of our people have died. Tell us this is one of your illusions. If only. This is as real as your so-called life. Your so-called life. If we should find out all we can about them. Visit the ship. In my opinion, that's the only choice. Wants to beam over? Assemble a minimal away team. What? Yeah. Mr. Yeah, Wolf, what? Transporter room three. Data. I wouldn't go there if I were you. She doesn't really speak like that usually. I've laid in coordinates that should set you down in the least damaged section of the Borg ship. Set phase is on stun. Be ready to increase power in case we need it. All right, energize. Energize. Cool. We don't see it from behind very often. Cool shot. Are these all like not functioning Borgs? Perhaps because this ship was being scanned for individual life signs. They're all one. Captain, go ahead, number one. It's all Are weird. Correct, correct. I would theorize that the Borg are somehow interconnected through these slots and are working collectively. We're going to try to access their main computer. What if they wake up? I believe each slot is designed for a specific Borg. Like a juggernaut could begin moving at any moment. Technology required to achieve this is far beyond our capabilities. Much, much more advanced. What the frig? Ugh. This is freaky! They either don't see us or don't see us as a threat. Like, no response at all to them being there. Yeah, zoom out. How many? <gasps> oh, frig. I mean, presumably that whole cube is filled with them. Is that a baby sound? A baby crying? Oh my god, is there a baby in there? <gasps> is it baby Borgs? Are they just like human or do they have like machine parts all over them too? Oh god. From the look of it, the Borg are born as a biological life form. They begin artificial implants. Crazy! I mean, this is the future. Their collective effort is being directed into repairing this vessel. Is the ship itself? The Borg seem to be using their combined power to repair Biological the entity? Transporter chief, beam the away team directed to the bridge. Oh, I thought it was gonna be you. Can't do it, Captain. The Borg are in pursuit. What? No. On screen. Magnify. Pursued by cube. Increase to 10 to the third power. Oh, zoom in ants indeed. Oh, man. If we can slow them down. Torpedo's armed. Something tells me no. Fine. <laughs> they had no effect. Breach, no this effect is engineering. At all. We are now at warp 9.65. The Borg are still gaining. What's the maximum warp? They will fall. Q. Admit it, Picard. You're out of your league. You should have stayed where you belong. This is all Q's fault. Engineering the bridge. Look at him just so amused. You've got all we can give. I understand, Mr. LaForge. Captain, the enemy vessel is firing on us. <laughs> Shield effectiveness has been reduced 12%. <laughs> Captain, the Borg ship is closing. They're firing again. <laughs> They're just gonna get right through. They're not gonna have any shields at all. Shields have been reduced 41%. Another hit and we will be defenseless. On the photon torpedo. There's nothing you guys can do. Maybe only appease Q. They regenerate and keep coming. Eventually you will weaken. Your reserves will be gone. <laughs> they are relentless. The board ship is firing. This music. That's it, that's it. No more shields? We have lost shields again. Do you still profess to be prepared for what awaits you? He must admit. The board ship is re-establishing its tractor beam. They're not prepared for this. Without our shields, <laughs> at this range, there's a high degree of probability the photon detonation could destroy the Enterprise. Dude, just admit it to Q. Maybe he'll get you out of there. What makes you think I'm either inclined or capable to terminate this encounter? So you've started it. We all it. die here, now. You will not be able to gloat. He's right. <laughs> you wanted me to say, I need you. I need you! He's not too proud to grovel. 
That's a snap of a finger. He's so much more powerful. This, this, that was just a game to him. Another man would have been humiliated to say those words. Another man would have rather died than ask for help. Nah, Picard's not like that. It's not safe out here. It's wondrous. The treasures to satiate desires both subtle and gross. But it's not for the timid. Right. Is he trying to teach them a lesson? I mean... You set a series of okay. events into motion, bringing your contact with the Borg much sooner than it should have come. Really? But right now, you're just raw material to them since they're aware of your existence. What are they playing? Like space chips? They will be coming. Yeah, they're on the radar they now. Bet on it. And they're not ready. And the contact happened before it was supposed to happen? Ugh. Perhaps what we most needed was a kick in our complacency. Maybe. To prepare us for what lies ahead. And they did get to see them, so maybe they can prepare. The end. Okay, guys, that was season two, episode 16, and that one was awesome. Clearly, that one was awesome. That's a standout episode, along with Measure of a Man. It's probably my two favorite episodes this season. The Borg. The Borg. Wow. Very cool. Way creepier than I thought. Like, the fact that they didn't even interact with the humans is very creepy. They were just all about scanning the ship, and that's pretty much it. They didn't even have time for the humans. Just proves how, like, non-threatening they find the humans, which is so scary. That means they are super powerful. I don't know if they said it outright, but they definitely inferred that what we've seen in the past where they found the outposts that were all destroyed, that it was these guys, the Borg. It was definitely inferred anyway, from what I could tell, that it was these guys. So that was kind of like a mystery solved there. I love that we used Guinan in this episode too. Got a little more of her backstory. So I wonder how many of her kind are left. And Q, of course. Q is starting to seem more and more to me like the god of mischief. And Picard even said in 10 Forward, he called him next of kin to chaos, which is so true. Agent of chaos, not necessarily evil, although he has no problem putting them in danger. He has no problem with humans dying, but he doesn't seem like his intentions are necessarily evil. I'm not quite sure what he does want. I never know if he's telling the truth. I mean, he said he was kind of banished from the continuum. Again, I don't know if that's true or if he's just saying it. I mean, he said he wanted to join the Enterprise as part of the crew, which also, I mean, I don't know if I believe him. The more I see of him, the more I'm just like, what trick are you trying to pull? I have no idea what his true motivations are, if he even has any, if he's just trying to make chaos he's just trying to stir the pot seems to want to mess with picard in particular and i don't think he really expected picard in the end to ask for help picard would never sacrifice his crew i knew he would do the right thing i'm really interested to see what happens with the borg in the future i mean they said q sped up the interaction between humans and the borg they weren't supposed to meet yet and q like pushed that meeting forward hope we see q again soon interesting stuff always happens when q comes around great episode creepy new villains i love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.